in rural Kentucky, where a lot of my peers consider the only fulfilling career to be working at Jim Beam and the epitome of education to be a community college technical degree, which is perfectly admirable, but I guess I always knew that I wanted more than that out of life. Therefore, I undertook the rigorous application process at the Carol Martin Gatton Academy, a residential gifted STEM high school, named number one in the U.S. by the Washington Post, on WKU's campus where students attend college courses. Not AP, not dual credit, you are literally in college. I worked hard, got in, and traded prom and homecoming and football games to pull all-nighters in a bunk bed, learning calculus too, coding, but most importantly, Arabic. At Gatton, you have to publish scientific research or learn a language critical to the U.S. government. Russian sounded too angry, Chinese had too many characters, so I chose Arabic and I'm so glad that I did. I made the Arabic debate team where I debated important global topics with students from all over the world in Doha, Qatar, and at the very first Arabic debate on U.S. soil at Harvard University, where not only was I mentioned in the keynote speech, but I beat Duke. I was asked to be the U.S. rep in the Qatar Foundation's Arabic Debate Elite Academy, where I furthered my involvement with their nonprofit and engaged with global leaders to help others through equal access to educational opportunity. Because I started a bachelor's at 15, I was able to use the remainder of my scholarship to earn a degree in sociology, furthering my understanding of human interaction and social science research methods. After interacting with the Qatar Foundation, my goal was to use my degrees to serve others. I knew I would have to work really hard to fund a master's in public administration and a certificate in organizational communication. Therefore, I applied for a graduate assistantship at Western Kentucky University with the Office of Global Learning and International Affairs. Here, I've been researching and working to enrich the educational experiences of the often overlooked, underrepresented minority population of rural students through study abroad, an important project, especially here in the Appalachian region. Basically, I'd love to be able to combine my passion for language, human social patterns, and service to others to succeed in promoting positive, international, interpersonal, and organizational communication. I know now that communication is the root of every positive relationship, social movement, and big idea, and so I decided that I would be more able to formulate and act upon my own big ideas by becoming an expert in communication and pursuing a PhD. As you could probably surmise based on my reasons of pursuing a PhD in the first place, I envision fulfilling work as being able to interact with international parties to promote mutual respect and understanding in the communication of ideas about how to better offer inclusive humanitarian goods and services. Whether that be through employment in the government, with my master's in public administration in mind, or in the nonprofit sector, holding to inspiration from my MPA and the Qatar Foundation, or even in the private sector, where I could use my love for human connection and a newfound knowledge of interpersonal and organizational communication to appeal to the characteristics of human nature that connect individuals from all over the world and serve the universal needs, aspirations, and interests of society through informed and innovative goods and services. Basically, I'd like to serve as a domestic liaison for the government, a nonprofit, or an international business that promotes progressive globalization through the diffusion of knowledge, opportunity, and basic needs. Because of my love for my friends in underserved countries and my experience with the Qatar Foundation, I'm interested in researching the ways that diverse peoples collaborate and engage in discourse despite obstacles regarding linguistic, cultural, and ethnic differences to address moral dilemmas, common goals, and social change. I would also like to be able to explore how individuals from a myriad of perspectives come to similar conclusions and face common problems upon being exposed to new communication technologies and media, especially considering the blow up of social media and computer mediated communication. Therefore, Dr. George Villanueva's research interests of oppressed communities, cross-cultural storytelling and discourse and intersectionality really interest me. Dr. Villanueva's interdisciplinary methods will allow me to best use my sociology and language knowledge to examine the structural oppression and media consumption of those who share my interests and perspectives, but most importantly, those who have extremely different backgrounds and experiences than myself. Secondly, Dr. Carla Wallace's topics of interest coincide with my own as they concern how demographically diverse groups and individuals establish power differences and spark social change. After reading some of Dr. Wallace's recent publications concerning female empowerment, I was intrigued at the idea of being able to work alongside her to further address how individuals overcome oppressive structural barriers to collaborate through communication and technology. Communication research that makes use of qualitative methods really excites me. I'm significantly inspired by Dr. Karen Ashcraft's research, exploring the feminine uh, experience in professional organizations, actions that affect diversity, equity, and inclusion, and identity development. I realize how important it is to acknowledge the experiences and obstacles of women to better educate myself as a woman, how to empathize with and approach the oppression of other marginalized groups. 
Furthermore, I've always been interested in DAF's media richness theory of computer-mediated communication because although I'm more of a pencil and paper kind of gal, I find that knowing which digital channel of communication is appropriate for your purpose and audience out of all of the new and emerging platforms and technologies is ever more important in this day and age.